Hey there YouTubers, it's Dan Strong with Excel VBA is fun. Thanks for tuning in today. Today we have a quick speed lesson. Uh, we're going to show you um, something that, cool that you can do with the status bar. There's lots of things you can do. Today we're going to blaze through something where, let's say uh, you wanted to click on these two cells and you wanted it to say two hours right here at the bottom. So, or if you selected four cells, it would say four hours, or this might say 16 hours. Something like that. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Hit Alt F11 to get into the Visual Basics Editor. We're going to double click on Sheet 1, which is the hours worksheet here. We're going to create a worksheet event. And actually, uh, actually selection chain is perfect. So in there, we're going to say, so, uh, let's see, uh, we'll make a variable name like my var is fine. That variable equals selection dot count. Um, so we want to get the the number of cells that we selected. So then we're going to say application dot status bar equals, and here's what's going to show up down at the bottom. Application dot status bar equals my variable and the word hours, or you could just put hr that way. Uh, if it's plural or singular, it'll still look okay. So let's try that. If I click on this cell, well, there it is. It says one hour. One hour. Now, if I highlight two cells, it says two hours. Let's do this random number here 60 hours. So that's cool. Eight hours. Very good. So um, now let's try this. Oop, actually, uh, I'm going to click away and see it's still there. The status bar still says that. But what I want to do now is I want to make another worksheet event for when the worksheet is deactivated. We're going to say whenever the worksheet is deactivated, we're going to say application dot status bar equals false. That will take it away, and I'll show you that right now. I'm going to click to the other worksheet, and app, and it is now back to normal. So this worksheet, the 15-minute increment, instead of each cell representing one hour, it's 15 minutes. So we would want this to say 0.25 hours. Uh, or this would say one hour, this would say two hours, and etc. So let's try that. We're actually just going to copy and paste this stuff from that worksheet. Double click on the worksheet that's called 15 minutes. Uh, paste what we just copied. And then instead of this variable being uh, saying one hour, we want it to be one divided by four. So whatever that is, divided by four and hours, so 0.25 hours if we select one cell. So now let's try it. Uh, yeah, I just clicked on a random cell, 0.25 hours. Let's click on, how about if I selected all this and I released the mouse, it says eight hours, that's an eight hour thing. We clicked on this random number here, 60.5 hours. So if each cell was 15 minutes, that's that would be that would have been 60.5 hours. This would be 45 hours and etc. Anyway, this uh, workbook will be available for download for free. Just click on the link in the video description, and you can download that. Thanks for watching this speed lesson today, and God bless.